what is going on everybody see here welcome back to some more astroneer so we have an update upon us tomorrow tuesday we shall be having an update with some new things i don't know the extent of absolutely everything right now i know that we're gonna have a super scrapping event similar to the cheer event using the extra request platform and i know that they're adding some uh some changes to dynamite that's why we made our dynamite farming base in the last episode but we've got other things to do oh yes we do indeed let's face this way it's a little bit brighter maybe maybe anyways hopefully you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more because 60 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel my gosh my gosh it's absolutely insane but if you don't want to it's okay i understand but if you want to it's awesome and i appreciate the support all right so uh we did live stream we got some things done primarily check this out primarily we got this guy done look at this my gosh that right there that is eight rtgs eight rtgs and we already have three on our base and oh my gosh i know the fun doesn't stop we already have some at our next base oh the next base you ask well if you were over on twitch.tv slash z1 gaming you would have found out you guys can head over there leave a follow if you want to uh we will be live streaming on tuesday so um yeah pretty exciting stuff anyways let's head on over to our other base our mysterious other base that we haven't shown off on youtube yet and we'll show you what we got what, what we got planned anyways so we are landing here on calador now you might be asking well why calador you know like that's kind of a that's that's a planet that we haven't been to in a while well i'm glad you asked because we know the palette color we know the new palettes that are coming in we know the rewards of accomplishing the scrap and it's like a brownish color it's like a uh it's like a brownish kind of kind of deal so i'm like you know what that kind of goes with calador and if it's scrap related well i mean calador i mean come on tell me calador is not the perfect planet to be to be scrappers right it kind of gives you like a a mad maxi vibe you know deserty all that fun stuff so uh we're gonna be doing the missions here not on glacial i know last time we did glacial well, it's because it was like a wintry update you know it was a it was a tundra based thing well this one is not tundra based oh no this one is calador based and i thoroughly believe that so uh we got this little base set up right here and as you can see we got i, I think we got the essentials here uh well these aren't quite set up quite as as i'd like them to be we got a soil centrifuge we have the exo request platform look at that can we go ahead and uh, we can't call that in yet once the update is active we will have this guy we also have our extra large shredder so we can shred all of the things and all of the stuff now um some people are asking me and i'm kind of playing with the idea is that we might actually get an additional or two additional large rovers because then we could put the exo request platform on one and then we could put the extra large shredder on the other one and then we could just like mobily do it and it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but I don't know because I feel like we're gonna bring back the dynamite. We're gonna bring back the packagers. We're gonna bring back all that stuff. Uh, so we're gonna have to have some kind of main base anyways. So that's what we did. We built this little main base. It's, it's kind of nice. I like it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Uh, is that not gonna connect? Connect. <gasps> oh, thank you. All right, cool. So we have this main base place, uh, but we need, we need some more storage. And you know, actually now I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking that uh, multiple rovers might be the way to go here. Cause we could have this guy on there. We can have this guy on there. We can throw some storages on there because this guy's gonna take up a whole rover by itself. This guy's gonna take up half of a rover. So we could throw a medium storage in front of that. And then we also have the back of that rover. So we could throw a medium storage on that as well. Throw in what, eight? We could throw in eight of the medium storage silos or the storage silos period and uh kind of get those rock and rolling so yeah you know what i think i think we will do that i think we'll do that we'll we'll get some more preparations under the way also you guys might be asking well why do you have all this astronium what's the astronium about i have no idea at this point but they kind of hinted at the uh astronium might have some kind of use going forward i don't know what it is but it might have some kind of use as of this update so i got a whole bunch of it and got it ready to go I don't want to get too much just in case like it's going to affect like maybe something uh a way of harvesting it might be different i don't know but i got it it's here it's ready to go just in case uh let's see what do we have here i think these are medium store styles right okay so we got two of those uh three of those uh i meant um okay and we need to get this guy full of dynamite and full of packagers and we need to get our rovers built so that's what we're going to be doing this episode guys hopefully you enjoy so 
I think the first course of action is going to be to go to Glacio to get the titanium because we're going to need a lot. Oh, we're going to need a lot of those medium storage silos, which means we're going to need a lot of titanium. So let's start with that. Let's kind of see how it goes and we'll go from there. And we've arrived to Glacio, probably my favorite planet. What's your guys' favorite planet? Leave a comment below. I'm curious. I think Glacio is the best because you got ammonium, you got graphite, you got titanium, you got all the goods that you could possibly need all in one handy dandy little location all right so shoot Ooh, i don't have hold on let's do this okay let's put this on here uh let's switch that to enable that put that on there put this on here there we go okay so now they should yeah oh darn it it didn't work <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get some clay here because i need a uh i need a, a, a storage container i need i need a medium storage to go on the back of this bad boy and then we need two storage silos completely full of titanium those are the things we're gonna need because two storage silos full of titanium would give us a storage silo full of storage silos <laughs> i know funny how that works right interesting very interesting so we're gonna get those guys made up real quick like all right so we got a large storage we're gonna throw that right there on the floor. we could throw one on the back too hmm that looked kind of weird though honestly <laughs> Uh, we're going to throw these on here because these both need to be full of uh, titanium goodness. We are going to throw this guy back on here like so. And we're going to grab this RTG. I should have brought one of uh, one of the other RTGs here. One of the other eight that we made. <laughs> but it is what it is. All right. So let's go. Let's collect some titanium, shall we? we made it back titanium in tow all right so we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna start smelting all of this goodness and that's gonna give us the storage that we're gonna need for the most part uh now i do have three more of the ceramics so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna make those two can we like rotate that thank you perfect all right so we have that and then i should have a little bit of room for these guys we're going to go ahead and make a large storage as well, just to make it and get it done with, because we're going to need two of them for our rovers anyways. Now, I have thought about actually just packing up this rover and taking it with us, but we use it way too much here anyways. So we're just going to go back to Silva. We'll make two more. It'll be fine. And we have a medium or we have a what is, is this medium? medium storage silo full of medium storage silos. That means we have 24 medium store, storage silos at the rate. Wow. Say that real fast. Medium storage, silo, medium storage, silo, medium storage. Accurate. It's not that bad. All right. Anyways, so we have those guys. Now, one of the things that I am going to need, I am going to need graphite. I'm going to need a lot of graphite. So 
Uh, and that's because we have to repackage things. We have to package things in order to send them off, I do believe. So I am gonna go through. I am gonna try to get some graphite while we're here. We're already on Glacio. We might as well try to get some. All right, so since those are done, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna try to get some graphite. Now, graphite, man, it's kind of getting a little scarce around here, around my base area, because I have been using it for, uh, for packaging the storage things. But I'm hoping that we could get lucky and find a little bit. So I'm going to get those knocked out while we're uh, we're here. I, I would like to get three storages full of graphite. I don't know if that's going to happen. I might end up saying heck with it and quit because it does sometimes. You know how it is when sometimes you just can't find something and it's just, you know what? You're just going to come back to it later. Well, it might be the case. I don't want to see. All right. So I got all of the graphite that I need. I went out. I went the extra mile and I found it all. Darn it. I did it. We made it happen. Now, as I was on my way back, I was thinking, I was like, you know what? This rover likes to place soil where I don't feel like it would normally place soil. So we're going to do a little bit of a test here. Uh, you guys are getting a little extra extra here. We're going to we're going to run through here. We're going to pull back. Uh, no. OK, never mind. Well, so anyway, what, what was <laughs> what was I testing? Um, I wanted to see if it would place soil where there was no soil for it to connect to. If it would just place it in midair. And the reason I wanted to test that was because you know how we like to ramp rovers off of planets. Well, the next better thing would be to make our own planet by ramping a rover using this guy, placing some soil down and voila. You have your own planet because you have to have a soil source nearby and soil only places out to a certain distance. So I was curious if this guy was uh, was breaking any of those rules. Unfortunately, it's not. So, um, OK, we are going to head back to our shuttle and then we're going to head back to uh, our Calidor base, drop the things off and hopefully, hopefully get two more rovers built and get things ready to rock and roll. And we are home. Oh, it feels good. You know what? We just leave the rubber right there. It's just fine. All right. So we're going to place that on there. We're going to leave the soil here because we don't need the soil. We're going to grab the medium storage silo full of medium storage silos. Uh, place that right there. And uh, I wanted this storage too. You know what? We're going to take this storage too. I don't even care. I'm doing it. I'm taking it. You guys can't stop me. Uh, okay. Hold on. We got to get that. Okay. All right. Cool. Why are you sideways? What are you even doing? What are you even doing with your life? All right, so we have this guy. This guy's good. Uh, we have three storage cells full of graphite, which means that we're going to have three storage cells full of uh, packagers, repackagers. We're going to go drop those off on Calidor. Fuel looks good on the rocket. Fantastic. We're going to drop those bad boys off, and then we're going to go grab uh, two more large rovers and bring those to Calidor so we can have a mobile situation for the updatey stuffs. And we're on Calidor. Look at these beautiful little cacti over there. Oh, they look so darn cute. I love them. I love them so much. All right, so we're going to throw this guy in here. Come on, connect. Thank you. And we'll throw, uh, well, we need to bring this whole thing over there. So we'll just use this guy to transport the storages over to this area. No problemo. All right, now that these are over here, we'll just set them up there for now. And can we do a reach grab? Let's do it. Come on, terrain tools out. Let's see if we can grab this bad boy. But Joe, if you're watching, I swear I better not get banned. <laughs> Caught a live stream from Joe and he was talking about, he's like, anybody I see do the glitchy hacky reach grab thing, you're gonna be banned, you're done. And I was like, no, <laughs> I was super sad. And that came after he said that anybody doing the, uh, the Z1 shuffle was going to be banned. You guys know what the G1 shuffle is? Well, guess what? I will show you. I will show you right now. So back in the day, well, I mean, even now you can grab this guy and you can carry it and run and you can do the whole little jumpy bit. And I mean, it works. But if you want to get like maximum, if you want to min max it, right? Basically what you do is you run, you jump, you run, you jump, you run, you jump. That's how you min max your your transportation of items. Run, you jump. You run, you jump. You run, you jump. You can do that with three items. Well, up to three, kind of, sort of. Anyway, but uh, that's what the whole the the Z1 shuffle is. That that I didn't I did not dub that 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 term. That was not dubbed by me. That was dubbed by other people in the chat. <laughs> it was great because he was walking around just carrying this thing. It's like why don't you do the why don't you do the shuffle? You know, the little run jump grab thing. A little bit quicker. Anyways, okay. So let's get this guy on here. We'll get some RTGs on here, like so, and we'll get this guy on here, like so. Fantastic. And in all actuality, we have this storage here. So let's go ahead and put these 
on here that'll be good for those and then these guys are all going to go on to these and that's essentially going to be that's going to be our dynamite we're gonna have dynamite down here and stuff like that so uh it should be good should be wonderful it's gonna get two more on here not there right there perfect no uh right there no right here perfect all right cool so uh yeah we have some storage we have some things we have some power we're looking good we are looking good we are ready for this event so um i know i said i was gonna grab the other two large rovers but i think i'm just gonna do that off camera and i think we're just gonna end the episode here guys because it's just you know it's just two large rovers nothing exciting it's a little bit grindy so uh yeah thank you guys so much for coming out hopefully you're having a fantastic day if you are make sure you leave a like on the video comment down below anything you like actually if you watch to the end comment flubber down below flubber used to be a thing we used to we it used to be the keyword it used to be the keyword in the videos so uh spam flubber in the comments down below I'm super curious if you guys watch all the way to the end anyways next episode we'll be back we'll be playing the update the one the only the update and i'm super excited about it so hopefully you guys are too i will see you in the next one and until then you have a wonderful day